Hi guys, good morning. Hello, anyone hear me? <coughs> nice. Hello, the doctor. Hello, Maxim. Good to see you. Great. Howdy. Okay, so hi guys. I think it should be a good evening for most of you guys. So, today what we're simply trying to do is playing some instructive repeat games where I try and play slowly and trying to explain you things like what is the normal mistakes that opponents make, how to formulate a plan in the opening, I mean after the opening, and how to, you know, like playing this in chess so now we are like 15.05 right now and in this rapid run so we are playing like 10 minutes game 10 minutes games 3 a.m. oh wow Zuki like really nice for you to stay up that late actually I really really appreciate it. one second Oops, by the way, I forget to check. Anyone can tell me what is Dania's score today? I mean, Dania playing Bliss. He playing Bliss. And I mean, like, he doing at a really recent time. Like, a lot of times, actually. For me, so I only, maybe, like, one or two, but one, once or twice per week. For Dania, he did a lot. So, Dania won again today? Wow, looks nice to hear. Nice, nice. Go Daniel, you know, like I always always support him. <coughs> okay guys, ready, right? <coughs> ready? Start. First game I do today is again the guy Fox G D in US probably. And he played E4. Middle two ropes. Nice. Nice to hear that. I wanna play E5. Bishop c4, well this is called the bishop's opening, so while playing this, so sometimes why want to go for a scholar mid, or simply he just want to develop bishop first. Yeah, that had a loss against Christopher Yu, I mean Yu is really talented player, like also an international master like me. And he is like only 13 years old, 2500. I think a like really talented player who will shine in the future for sure. Could we do pass rush today? No, I don't think so. I mean, like playing this thing will take a lot of time. <coughs> and no, I'm not playing subs. I'm playing, you can see, I'm playing some rapid games and trying to make it something really instructive. A3, well, this move, I mean, somehow it is not a good move. I think this is slightly a waste of tempo in the opening when you're trying to fight for the center and when you're trying to develop a princess. A3, probably want to defend against this, but I don't think this is the best move. Let's, let's play knight 6 simply. A3 is pretty slow, actually. B3. Okay, here, so now I got a chance to fight in the center. Yeah, at least play later for sure. Now I can defy right now. This is like typically what Black trying to do to fight for the center. A3 is a slow move, and that allows Black to do that typical pawn push in the center. G7. Now we castle simply, and now we can push up to this or this to finish our development, right? S3. Okay, so now before you know, before we try to make a plan, the thing I always try to recommend to you is trying to develop first, and then think about like what to do later. You should be six, and then you can come here, queen d7, and you can come here, get the default. Okay, king h2. This guy, actually, I think he wanted to defend against this move, which seems to be. Attempting, but obviously not so strong right now. Not okay, yet. 
Okay, now so you can see this basically black did finish his development. So now it's the time thing for the action. C4. Well, this is a bad move. This is a really bad move here for white. This is a mistake. I mean, like here, so white simply forget about his development. So he can play something like C3 or Bishop D2. But C4, he just want to chase my knight from here to the back. But C4 is a bad move. Since by playing C4, he made this D3 pawn a huge weakness. You can see I got the rook and the queen on the D5, right? So by playing C4, he just make the D3 pawn a really big weakness. Big weakness. And for instance, if I play knight to F6, you can see right here that this pawn D3 will never be easy to defend, right? Yeah, backward pawn become weakness. Let's, okay, f4. This guy is trying to play pretty ITF. I don't know. I would call, actually, I don't call this ITF. This is slightly more work. f4. So, I guess he wants to fight in the center. But, I mean, like, the thing you always should remember is that you need to try to bring all your forces into the game before you want to take action. Here, you, it can be easily seen that white didn't. Get anything active so right now getting action is quite actually a bit hasty for him actually f4 so right now plenty of choice we can take on the pawn d3 like this this is free pawn for sure well it is not even theories it's not even theories i mean like this is something not so correct for sure so now it is off theory we can try and play what we want to i want to play e4 since i get a pin on this pawn on d3 and he cannot take back since after that he will lose the piece i mean like when he moves pawn like that so you don't you don't need to be worried zuki you can see that by doing this so he simply didn't develop you can see like three pieces one two three pieces still undeveloped and this bishop on a2 is being blocked by his own pawn on c4 so now he's once again moving his pawn. But now he's taking d3. And now you can see that I got a very strong pass pawn here. <coughs> okay guys, now time for your time for my questions first. This is my first question today. Actually, it's an easy one. I'd like to play. This is something that really, really instructive. This is and this is like a very nasty trick trap as well. In the, in this board, do you see like the Worst pieces in black, you know, in white position right now, and how can you try to attack that? I mean, like only pawn moves in the opening is not so good. You can see that now only the nine and g three here, and maybe with this position a two is developed, but they doesn't seem to be so strong, right? So now, how can black do to take? Yeah, queen d4 is correct. Queen d4 is absolutely correct. By playing queen d4, so you can see this rook on a1 is being trapped, right? In the corner, and nothing can try and help it. Queen d4, and now you're winning material. This is what you need to pay for playing so dubious in the opening. I mean, like, simply why forget about the development? He only pushing the pawns, which is not making sense for sure, <coughs> right? By the way, so when asking questions, so if you guys have some question as well, or you guys want to join with me, so let's come together with me. Don't worry. I'm really happy to see you guys and see your recommendation. And now he's taking his time, but now it seems to be okay, F5. Hello, Jonathan. Well, F5, so you att attacking our bishop here, right? Okay, I want to. Now you have two choices. You can run here and still turn on this. But here I'm going to take this right away since I take on a1 and this a2 bishop is being targeted as well. So I will up a rook. Basically, what take a pawn is quite dangerous. You can take the knight f5 and he gets a strong knight on f5 to attack. 
So let's play simply queen b3. Oh, this guy is trying to trap my queen. Nice. Nice dot. Now, I mean, like now, he won bishop b2, right? To trap a queen. On a1. Now, there are plenty of what to do. For, there are plenty of moves to play for black. This is the first game, and I bet that a lot of you guys still not in here. So we're trying to play the game first and try to explain. And then I will ask questions later after this one. And in the second game, I will try to ask along the game to make you guys feel like included in the game and understand more for sure. It's the 94. Chase this queen away. And when the queen was kicked away, so this a two pawn, um, this a two big pawn actually, turn pawn. Once again, becoming winners. <coughs> Well, I mean, like, big pawn for sure. Okay, queen b2, now it's over. Bishop takes and bishop, okay, now, so bishop c8, simply. Now, simply, you are up a rook, a whole rook, in this position. And this seems to be completely over. Okay, so now, time for the conversion, right? Conversion. There are plenty of ways to play here for the win. Plenty of ways. You can do absolutely a lot of things. But I mean like the things that you're always trying to do when you got like a hit in material is trying to attack in right away with that material or simply trying to liquidate into a winning end games. Right here you can see that it is really hard to get attack get an attack and get a sword right now. So the simplest way to do is going for some exchange. I wanna go knight e2. <coughs> Text here, so I text and I take the knight on d2. Also, I can play bishop d6 and then get the pin here as well. c5, well, actually, this is a good move. This guy simply sees my threat and he go for c5 to defense again, should be 6. I'm gonna go trick him like this. I'm gonna go trick him like this. Let's see what he can do. <coughs> Knight to e4. Take your pawn first. I mean, right now there are like absolutely plenty of way to go for the win. I'm gonna go for the tricks. Simply right now, when every piece disappear from the board, no chance is left for white. Okay, bishop e7. I want to play this. Trying to include my bishop into the game. Defend both an a4 and rook f3, for instance. Rook e8, well, time to get my rook out as well. Simply now it's over. Okay, and now he even sacrificing his own rooks. We even got this pass pawn as well. So now it's practically over for sure, right? Okay, so now we want to make this into a queen. So we want to kick this knight and d2 away, right? But if we want to take that away, so we need to get the rook here to kick that. So this knight needs to move. I'm going to go 94. Take this for pawn as well. I want to blow it to check. Yeah, I think I don't think that was sacrifice. Probably he simply missed the bishop on b7. Or simply he just wanted to play for some desperate move. But that doesn't seem to be so. It's over. Hey guys, now time for some very basic combination. Blood to play. How can he try to exploit the pin on the default? This should be called it's ray. How can you try and exploit the pin? No, no, it's ray. It's ray on the default. Blood to play. How to exploit that? Now this is simply over. I mean, there are a lot of moves, but knife 3 should be this way, correct. A lot of moves, knife 3 should be the best way. And rook d3, now rook simply invades, and the knight alone can defend for sure, and now simply it's over. Okay, and now, you know guys, made by two rooks. This is, I oh know, this is not made by two rooks. He can still defend. But yeah, stair stepper, stair stepper. Okay, h1 rook d1 mid, and g2 is forks. So now the two rooks 
standing on his second rank and he resigned again. It's not a mid, but I mean he can try and play for some more moves, but it's still many for sure. GG. GG. He resigned before the mid incoming. I mean you can see it like, okay, so now I think you guys have been here. A lot of guys have been here, so now I'm talking again. In opening, he played the bishop opening, which is quite trendy recently. People can play knight 3 first, and bishop c4. So recently, bishop c4 has been, I think, popular for sure. And c6, trying to bring the knight out for sure. a3, this move is not a bad move, but actually, it is not a strong move for sure. Quite with the tempo. I mean like in the opening, so the thing you should do really fast is trying to get out of your pieces and trying to bring on the forces into the game and try and fight for the center for sure. But A3 seems to be with the tempo, which is not that necessary, right? Do you have other videos like this that are posted somewhere? Well, actually, no. I mean like I, you can sub to my channel and then watch that but i mean today since today i will try to upload something to youtube i will upload something to youtube and you know you can come to my discord to see the news actually i did get news and i did got some recommendations from discord as well you guys can come there for sure and give me the recommendation how old is me well bio here am I, 24 years old, quite old, right? Actually, not so old, but not so young anymore, obviously. Now, F6. D3. I mean, like, since I still didn't get any kind of this much on YouTube, so I really recommend you guys to watch Daniel's speedrun, which is really, really basic and instructive as well. For me, so, you know, since I didn't have any of those on YouTube, so I would recommend you guys to come there. But I believe I will get something like that in the near future. Hello, Aquila. I hate living where I do. I can't find any banging. You can say bread, but well, I mean like this thing is not easy to find in US probably. I stayed in Texas like four years ago for maybe like two months. Unable to find any bang me there. Set. D5. So D5 is really strong move. I mean like when you can push D5 in this position, push it right away. You can see this. After this, so now this bishop got a lot of spaces. This bishop as well. And then you got strong knight in the center. Simply and now you're like even have some extra spaces. And it is called space advantages. This and now bishop is seven castles and before you go for the action you go simply trying to develop pieces first in the game why doesn't try to do so i mean like some bishop e a2 move is really a waste of tempo in the seven can you still once again it's no need to play that move you idiot and i see four turn out to be a bad move we simply lost the game now i got an f6 and this d3 pawn become winners and then by slowly taking the pawn and going for some liquid force over but i mean in the game what white like doing badly that gives the game pretty easy for black is that he simply ignore development instead he trying to make all the dubious pawn moves so early in the opening and forgetting about the development of his own pieces you understand you can see like by doing all the pawn moves he should do something like c3 earlier you can see that this, this one, two, three, this is never have a chance to join a game. And this bishop a2 is like a turn pawn, which is which which can only look at that c4 pawn with a very, you know, set and you know desperate look, right? <coughs> have another gym norm even schedule. I don't know, I mean I want to do that in next April or May in US but still not so sure. I'm still waiting for the COVID things or simply I'm still waiting for, you know, the 
pandemic situation to be better, that's for sure. But hopefully I can do that as early as I can. I mean, I can do that as well. I can do that as well. Maybe, but I mean, I want to wait for him to finish that first. I don't want to, you know, like miss something and make you guys like compare. So, I mean, I want to play some rapid games like this, you know, and then try and explain the things throughout the way. It would be quite easier for you to follow, right? Let's go. This one. So, now you guys have been here. So, I'm gonna go to explain things slowly, sl more slowly, and trying to, you know, ask questions along the game. Get AP Seth? From Malaysian, yeah, Malaysian player. I want to play the Queen's Gambit. D4. <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, I will try my best to make it, you know, like, really, like, understandable for you guys. Hello, APSF? Make a move? What are you doing? Make a move, bro. Okay, D6. D6. This is slightly a rare move, a rare move here for black. But this move, so black want to play the pure opening, the pure. In this opening, so black sometimes he trying to, doesn't like, it is something against the law, against the rules, actually. By doing this, so he want to play g6, which is g7. He forget about the center for a while. Instead, he try and bring his pieces like bishop g7, and then he can try to create pressure on his center later. Let's go e4. Continue with something really natural by pushing the pawn and get the center. C6. I mean, like when you see something you don't know. Let's just play simply knight c3. Bring the knight here and occupy the center. F3. Queen f5. Okay, guys. So this is like bringing the queen early in the game, but he did have a threat. So can you guys put it out what he want to play? You guys always need to see like what his opponent want to do when he plays a move. Something like really important to understand, right? You need to okay. You need to see like okay. So what is my opponent want to do, and then you try and defend that first. By queen e five. So you see that he got a pin here, right? He got a pin here, right? He got a pin here. So now he want to play knight e four. Take your free pawn. So now we need to defend that first. So here there are two choices to defend. But we should be three, and or we should be two. But I want to go bishop d2 since I want to pin this queen as well. I mean, like, there are a lot of choices to defend e4 pawns, but I want to stick with the easiest one. Trying to pin him as well. Queen b6. Queen b6. Now he attack my b2 pawns. Actually, here, you know, like, you can't even try to play some gambit things like bishop c4 and then try and the castles. Or you want to defend the pawn here right away. Okay guys, so what do you want me to play? I mean like, do you want to see some kind of massacre? Or I mean like, simply trying to develop the pieces so fast in the opening and forget about these pawns? Or just keep defending your pawn and play for a normal game? Well, now if 4 he can come back to queen c7, I don't know. But I don't think this is something so strong. I'm gonna go bishop c4, yes. I think you guys want to see this. C4. You can see this. Now. Both test gambit. I don't even have a chance to do what I want to do. <laughs> I, I mean, I want to do both tests. I don't know what else, what I want to say. I want to do some gambit, trying to you know sacrifice a pawn and trying to go for the attack. But now here, here come the botas gambit. I never have a chance to do what I want to do. 
<laughs> well, he sacrificed his own queen and he resigned. What have we learned now? Well, trying to be careful with the mouse. He must live for sure. But I mean like, this is something I want to show you this. I mean like here so you can see this. By playing queen b6. You can see this is only the fifth move in this position. But he wants already waste two temp piece with this queen. Right? So if the play c4. So obviously he wants to play queen b2 for sure. Like that's right? So now it is move 6. And he already waste like... Three temples with his queen. So now what I want to do here is rook b1 first. Queen a3. And I get the rook on this semi open first wall. And then the castles. You can see it is move 8. And basically white has finished the development. One black. It's a long way, really long way to do so as well. And after that I can try and push e5. And try to fight in the center right away. This queen just make like 4 moves in a row And that is something really dangerous For you guys to play in the opening What I want to simply recommend Is trying to play, you know, like safely, safety for safe In the opening Don't try and play some like, you know A bit risky move like this To make it easy, right? And you know like Actually I can't even do something stronger I now see rook b3 right now, rook b3, queen a5 forcing right, but it runs into this pin and now e5 is damn dangerous, e5 is damn dangerous, since not e5 you can take with the knight, so you can see how bad it is, how bad it is to take the pawn so early and make a lot of queen moves like that, right? <coughs> And one thing for sure I want you to know and to do something is that, you know, when you miss something quite awkward or a strange one like this in the opening, just keep playing normally and keep developing your pieces, trying to finish that quickly and trying to go to center. Look at the center and, you know, you don't need to be worried about what, like, kind of awkward thing he play for himself, right? And, you know, this is something I don't expect this to be this fast. But okay, sorry, APSF. Actually, I didn't even mean to want, like, to get him drawn. But okay, he just resigned even faster than I thought. <laughs> GG. It absolutely is not a GG, but, well, I don't know what to say. Let's go. Thanks for another follow. Kif. Yeah, 78. Okay, so now I'm going to cut by one. Hello, Akimona, nice to see you. Let's play this d4 and c4 again. Okay, d5. And now come the Queen's Gambit. c4. Hello, Beth Harmon. Wow. This is called Austrian variation. This is called Austrian variation in the Queen's Gambit. This actually normally considered to be dubious, actually. If I was not mistaken. This is considered to be dubious. C5. So, you know, trying to go for the, you know, trying to go for the counter right away in the center. You can see right now we have a very tense center. And, you know, so we got two choices. And you, we can play E3 here to keep attention. But now I want to release the tension, yeah, release the tension right away. I want to take in C5 like this. If you play here, okay, so I will queen d8. I mean, I got two choices to play here. I can play queen a4 to win a pawn like this. But to make it become more instructive, I'm gonna go for the... Yes, I'm gonna go for the exchange, queen d8, king d8. Okay, so right now you can see the tension has been clear a bit. Like, the only difference here from both sides is that Black simply lost the right to castles While simply, why still got the chances, right? I want to play knight a3 Taking this c4 pawns And what simply 
recently make like what simply makes me really amazing that amaze that he even doesn't want to defend the pawn on c4 three pawns i won't take that i see a three pawn he can play knight b4 but can come back and knight d4 well it looks like dangerous move right so do you guys see what your opponent want to do do you guys see right here what black want to do i mean you always need to see that first before you're coming up with some ideas you always need to see that first they want to play nice c2 with a fork right so we need to defend that i mean king d1 is really you know like you lost the right castle as well and then i mean like you can see this we really want to get the rook out to attack the d5 right so king d1 simply occupy that square for the rook so now i'm playing knight a3 defend that by the knight and then this this plan is going to throw this bishop out and rook d1 attack right yes e5 okay so now he defend this if d4 pawn he's playing pretty good pretty good move actually this is pretty good move Bishop e3 can be this right now, which is not that strong. Okay. Let's play simply e3. This, this is not a way. Let's play slowly. I mean, maybe this is some like riding position when you're having an advantages and you're trying to, you know, ride that into the win. Knight e6. So now he combines his knight to e6 and he wants to attack him upon c5, right? Hello, Slay Rocker. Well, thanks for that, kind words. I think, in my opinion, I should be Jim as well. <laughs> but okay, you can see, you know, you can see my username. Like, I want to be Jim for sure, so forget that. I mean, hopefully I can be do that one day. Hopefully. <laughs> um, what should I do? Now, before, defend the pawn can be met with a5 right away so i'm gonna play what i'm gonna see for first let's see you see force five move as well i mean there are plenty of choices i'm gonna play the easiest way i mean i want to do the easiest way to make you guys understand the things easier i mean like by doing this so now i don't need to be worry about a5 anymore i can take that with the knight so i don't need to be worried about that and b5 this is the best this is the bad move by him this is the bad move so now i simply play knight a5 and you can see this now i got a strong pass pawn even like protect the pass pawn right here strong pawn right i got i got one i got two more no, no, I got two knobs already. Actually, no, if you in passant right now, if you in passant, you allow him to go bishop before check with tempo. I don't think that is the best. Now you can see it by doing this. So now we got a very strong pawn on c5, which can be a really dangerous weapon in the future. So there's no need to go for in passant. So a4, time to rock this pawn and open up c4 square again for my pieces. Yes? Yeah, in passant will be hung upon. And I'm sorry if I am not pronouncing that thing correctly. In passant, right? In passant. In passant. Or is that? So sure. Hopefully I'm pronouncing things correct. Okay, let's go bishop c4. Time for some development. On passant. Yeah, on passant. On passant. Uh, on percent thanks guy for that on percent well french right okay here so now we need to thanks guy for that for sure i mean like i'm not so good with these things so i really need your help if i'm you know if i am speaking something that's so correct please tell me so that i can adjust knight e2 is what i want to do Knight 3, although it is the normal developing moves, but from there it cannot jump to anywhere else 
but by playing knight e2, I can have this and this, a very strong square in the center, right? This is what I want to do. I play knight e2, so I got a strong square as well in the center, and you know, my knight would have more potential. King f7, knight c3. You can see how hard it is for black to develop normally. Castle next, castle next, and simply I finish my development. Castle next. Uh, king g6. Uh, where is his king running? Okay, I don't know. Simply castle next. This next? I don't know. I don't even understand where is this king running. It seems to making a journey. But I just don't know where that journey gonna end. Rook be it. Well, seems to be good enough. But simply, you know, get the rook to d file. You got open file, right? You got open file. So by no chance to not want to get to the open file right, right away. I don't know, but some reasons. Some reasons. My opponent always makes some dubious move. It's not even free pawn. It is a free rook. Knight b7. And since the bishop need to work e6, it is overloaded. And I win a free rook. I still don't do anything. But okay, now it is free princess. Because I got this free nice one. And you can see how bad his pieces are right now. This knight simply really dubious. This bishop as well, and this rook as well. And now we got even another pawn for free. You can see, you know, like... Um... Hello? 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 You can see I don't do anything so strong. Trying, just trying to... Okay. Well, I want to make this instructive, but well, he just doesn't allow me to do so. I guess not. <coughs> <coughs> just joking for sure. I mean, like, you should always remember that if your opponent doesn't make a mistake, so you will never win the game. You will never win the game if your opponent doesn't make mistakes, right? And I mean, you can see this. This is only like 22 moves. And, you know, when in the game. So, you know, like the game that less than 25 moves. That should be considered, you know, like fast game. A really quick game for sure. And I mean, although I didn't do anything so special. But what I do, like, is simply making him really, really annoyed. So he make mistake. If I don't know something, so he will never build it for sure. So now let's talk about again the game again in the opening. DC5. Now I take this pawn here. So now I take this. Now queen d8. So now you can see this. Now the only difference is that my king is too safe, and this king is stay in this square, which is pretty. I mean, in this file, which is pretty dangerous for him. Now I go knight e3. This is a very normal move, and you know, like, this is something you need to remember for sure in the opening, like, always trying to develop pieces with tempo, always trying to develop pieces with tempo, this is something really, you know, natural, something like you play the Scandinavi, like, e4, d5, e5, d5, queen d5, and knight c3, developing the knight, and trying to attack the queen at the same time, this kind of move is always really useful, and really helpful in the near future for you. A3. And he doesn't def he doesn't even defend a pawn. If you play something that bishop e6. Like this. I can simply play this next. And then castle next. Taking this king right away. And you can see by doing bishop e6. He simply lock this pawn here. And this bishop is not easy to get out. Right? So I sim castle next. And f3, g5, and e4. Trying to play fast in the opening. And he played nice e6. Sacrificing the pawn. I take the pawn for sure. Knight d4. Going for the attack. 
And what I always tell you is that you need to always look careful for your opponent's threat and defend that for sure. Knight to a3. I think he should play e6 or e5. He trying to attack my pawn for sure by playing e5. In e3, knight e6. I mean, right now, I play knight c4, which is a good move. If you play, you will see it right here. If you play b4, you can play a5. And simply, your pawn structure can be demolished right away. Right? So, play knight c4 first. Not only I attacking the pawn on e5, but also right now I can play before without really really scared about the idea of e5. a5 I mean f6 before. So right now if you play a5 I can simply text. And then I might simply have a pawn right. Do your opponents get refunded? I don't think so. I mean like normally normally so the opponent only get refunded when you know something like when Daniel is trying to teach Charlie to play bless or play rapid so they get refunded but you know like now i'm playing with my own strength and you know i'm just trying to make lessons so i don't think it will be refunded but what do you think if you guys feel this is something necessary or this is something like fair play for something like that so you can tell me so i can ask shuttercom admin to refund the reading for the players what do you guys think in my opinion, this is not something really necessary, but if you guys think, usually they do. If you want to, if you want, if you guys want to, if you guys want to. Okay, so up to you. Understand? Okay, so you know, I always trying to, you know, like make you actually. I mean, like if refunded. I don't know what to say. Kind of. I think, I think, you know, if I try to teach someone to play, so I will make some refunded. But if I'm playing, so. I mean, like, it's simply, simply. The reading simply indicates your strength, right? If your strength is enough, so your reading can get up. Get up. But your reading is not enough, so you're gonna get down either way. So now if, okay, so B5, let's keep up with the game. This is a bad move. This is a bad move for black. A really bad move for sure. He should play B6. This is something really important to do. Trying to attack this pawn here and try and get out of the pieces. You can, I mean like you will see this C5 pawn in the game. You see how like annoying it is for black pieces, right? So B5 and you see this. Like right now, he, why well, got a very strong protected pass pawn right here, which cannot be challenges since it can be defended by the pawn before, right? And then it make it hard for this bishop to develop as well, hard for this knight, hard for every pieces. So you know, like black need to challenge that right away. B six and then this is just a bishop before. I was still up upon. I was still upon, but still life. The game can go on. This and this probably. I don't know. But I mean, he played b5, which is a bad move. Trying to chase my knight again. I mean, like, in this level, sometimes people just trying to, you know, feel your pieces are so annoyed, so they try to kick that away. Sometimes they doesn't even care about, like, where it can go, or it can even went to somewhere even more dangerous. So knight a5 absolutely is that case. Knight a5. Although it is still on the dream right now, it's still on the corner still in the rim actually there is a very famous quote that i think only you guys should know is that the knight on the rim is dim right but this is not that occasion since right now i got this knight here very strong knight it can jump here if you want to or simply you know it it is limiting black position he can't play this this bishop cannot go here as well and if you come here it can play knight b7 if you want to run so I'm not so worried about that. Knight five, a six, and a four. 
Now for us, it's really important move by exchanging this pawn, which is kind of forcing. So now I got some more squares for my bishop like this. And my knight can come back to here and here if you want to, right? He play what did he play in the game? King yet, yet king yet. To c4, knight six like this. And now is the final thing I want to tell you. This is the final thing I want to tell you. You can see now that you want to finish your development, right? So if you want to do that, so the really natural thing that you want to look at first is knight three, right? This is the natural squares for the knight. But now it is like the exceptions. Now it too is much more stronger. Just by doing this, you can jump to c3 right away, and then you can come to d5, which is doing much more thing to the game. And then you know, like you can see that. Like now you really want to get all the pieces into the queen's queen side, so you know you can try and start attack here. So knight 3 although it looks like real natural, it's not doing much thing right here. So knight two is stronger. Game seven, and my opponent, king, my opponent's king is taking Johnny. Don't even know where. Castles king g six. I see three rook beat and rook d one. You can see like how harmonious my pieces are. How harmonious my pieces are. I can go for this. I can even go for bishop d two, b two like this, and I can go knight b three attacking this pawn a six. And his pieces, you can try to compare with yourself. Really, really innocuous looking and you know looking real awkward right so simply you know and in the game i don't do anything and he simply you know making mistakes but simply give away free roofs and trying to sacrifice everything so the game's over gg again yeah okay so fine joe fine i mean like i'm not going to find anyone you can do that, but I think I can keep playing first. Okay, right now, so I'm gonna keep playing this for maybe like I think maybe for six or seven more games, six or seven more games probably. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Please don't hesitate. I mean, I'm trying to do this to make it something like some content to make it easier to understand, like making some lesson content for you guys. So if you guys have some questions don't hesitate to ask and hopefully you know i really hope that my explanation is clear enough for you guys so that it can be beneficial and you guys can feel it instructive okay let's go keep going what why do i touch white again normally you know we cannot touch white for three games in a row and now we're doing that well, sometimes the pairing is quite strange. Let's go e4 this time. Well, you're like an ass at the end, dirty drowning. So it should be like this. But don't worry. I mean, my channel is still so small for sure. Okay, now he doesn't even allow us to go for that. E5 king's gambit. Now play b6. This is called a win defense. A win defense. This is something I think was touched by Levy, right? If I was not mistaken. So Levy Rosman, like Gotham, got a cross on this earlier. Any Levy's fan here can confirm to me. If they are for sure. Okay, so b6. I mean, this is something really rare. Really rare. So you can play, you know, but as I told you earlier, when you miss something pretty awkward, you can play normally, like trying to occupy the center and don't care about what opponents do. And let's play d4. Normal moves, occupying the center. It should be 7, attacking this pawn, right? So now c3. e6. Now e5. This is from the Okay, blunt bishop. Actually, blunt bishop is a fine move, but I mean, like you doesn't want to go for. I mean, you doesn't go. You doesn't want to waste a lot of tempo in the opening with the pawn. So I do not recommend that. 
Nautilus belum bisa beat ring defend this one as well it should be 4 with a pin and then it's g2 defend any pin and you can take back with the knight if possible a3 is fine as well but I mean I'm trying to play the most logical thing you can see right now he wants to take on e4 right we got a pin here so two pieces are looking at this e4 pawns we only got two but one has been pinned right I want to play simply I want to play a3 <coughs> bishop takes knight takes actually this one is not that bad at all this is not that bad this is just I mean like if you can play or not this is not so bad at all let's see this is a, this although this looks like a fine move but this is not as strong I mean for some of you guys here you guys can play something you should eat three as well which is pretty natural trying to you know just develop in the pieces but right now why can have a very strong reply e5 time for him to attack right now so when the knight run this knight run so queen g4 is a good move I mean when the bishop is done effort so some ideas like queen g4 is really dangerous really dangerous I want to tell you text and queen g4 this idea can be really dangerous right since it's hard for him to defend g7 pawn now I think it should be even over if I was not mistaken let's see how he can defend this the g7 pawns it's still not over yet for sure okay so I will come back to these questions again don't worry after the game I mean I will try to answer his own questions again but now let's simply get up with the game for sure guys now I got a question by playing g6 by playing g6 he makes all of these dark squares become really exposed right how can you try to explore the fight and how can you try to develop the pieces with tempo remember me when it is something you can do please always do that develop pieces with tempo what can you do that how can you do that I mean how can you try to target these dark squares and going for the develop with tempo what is tempos okay what is tempo I mean a tempo is something that you trying to play you trying to play a move that's simply having a threat having a threat why play as well so G5 is the best move right here. This is the best move. I mean, Bishop E6 is fine as well. But he can play Queen E7. He can try to run. Knight E7. Well, seems to be pretty dubious. Now, a lot of things we can try to do. Okay, just for content. What do you want me to do? I mean, do you guys want to see some kind of assault right away? Or I can play simply, slowly, and can try to explain things throughout the way. I mean, I can try and play something a bit worse, but you know, natural for you guys to understand. Or I can try to play something so strong to finish the game. Actually, Bishop 6 is good, it's a really good move. This is one of the best moves here in this position. You got very strong squares here, right? I'm a question for. I mean, he kind of castling. Castling on this side is like, really bad for him. He kind of castling here, so don't worry. If you do this, this is like the biggest mistake in his life. C6. So now it is very really clear. He want to play this and castling here, right? So now play okay, play best move. This is the best move right here. F4. Why immediately launch the king side attack? F5 is going to be play, and since his king will fight hard to castles f5 simply comes really quick and you can see how bad this bishop is this bishop cannot donate anything to the game right it shouldn't be seven and now since this bishop is so strong and this attack just comes smoothly f5 is coming f5 i still tell you he can't cut those here since the knight e7 is still hanging so now the attack simply comes right away this should be over you can see like all of the attacking pieces right here. Castling is suicidal for sure. And he still can't escape here. This is practically 
over. You can see like how fast it is if you're making some blunder uh, like so early in the game, how fast the game can be. You can see like apart from the game he make the Maslap Queen B3 on games last pretty quick. D6. This seems to be like a good move, but now this is something like once again this is like a blunder for sure. This is completely suicidal. This is a bad move. On the first, you know why I play this? He sees like okay, so now he wants to castles, right? But he hang the knight on e7, right? Simply d6. With an idea to defend that e7 knight and he will castles next. Right? Okay guys, but this is something really dubious and really bad as well. Since by d6, you can see the king is still on the center, right? It is still on this center for the time being. So by doing this, he offers the trade and he offers the open of the center, which is deadly, which is deadly, simply deadly. I mean, like, this seems to be a good move. Seems to be, but this is a bad move, kind of. It's over. I mean, like, he simply let us attacking here. So now I get a very simple question. What group do you think should be the best to go to E1? What group do you think is the best to go to E1? The simple questions to the end. What is the group you think is the best to go to the E1? A very, you know, now this is basic questions. A very basic questions. Which groups you think should be f able to, you know, try and get to the E file? Both? How can you go with both? <laughs> it's not, obviously, it's not unable to do. Okay, here. This group is the best group to come here first. This group is trying to, like, this group is already in an attack as well. So, let's stay here. And this group here is not doing anything, right? This is some, the easiest way to explain. This group is doing nothing in the corner, and this group already participated in the fight. So, you know, simply trying to get it there for the moment being. Now it's simply over. Yes. You understand that? I mean, I'm trying my best to make it, like, understandable for you. And I think that should be, like, instructive enough. Hopefully it is. Oops, he resigned pretty quick. He resigned pretty quick here. Only 16 moves. Only 16 moves. Let me try and stream browser a bit. Here we are. Only 16 moves. This ends pretty quick, right? Ends pretty quick. Actually, I mean he resigned a bit early. I just want to ask you for a while first. Okay, now it's over. 16 minutes. 16 moves. And my opponents resign. Now it should be even more. To you, like to let you know how is that? Let's show you here. You think it's already plus four? No, you're wrong. It is plus thirteen. This is plus thirteen for you. This is only minus four. You don't you think? <clears throat> now is minus. Now it is plus fifteen. And it is still going up. I mean, like, you can see right now how, why, you know, you can be surprising to see why it is so high like this, right? You, let's see again. This king is still in a corner. All of these pieces cannot donate anything from the game. Absolutely anything from the game. This knight is being pinned. We got two rooks in turn the game right here, right? Both bishop is very strong. The queen is attacking as well. So basically, Right now, we are playing everything, and every RPC is joining the game. And, black. Nothing. Nothing, simply. I got a simple question for you. A simple question here. What do you think you should play if your opponent play? I think we should be the best defense moves. F6. F6. I think to def- I mean, like, right now, so you want to play this. You want to play this. So F6 should be the best choice for you. So now, why to play? How to decide the game? For you. Let's go. 
another questions I mean like I pretty understand that I'm nowhere near Dania I'm nowhere near Dania stream for sure and I think that my explanation is like or my simply my accent is nowhere near him but I mean like I just want to you know make sure that a lot of you guys here can understand me and can feel that like instructive yeah I have it on my own style as well so I mean like I will feel so happy for that don't worry <clears throat> I mean this is rapid so I even have more time to explain things than him okay here there are plenty of choices you can go for the win here plenty of choices I want to tell you I mean the best move here Wow and thanks Marco Bar for the tie one subs I really appreciate Marco nice to see you here I mean you can do something like this is the best move so bravo and clapping for the guys who can see this move so by playing this he attacking both of this rook this queen I mean and this pawn as well so when a queen move and this is something like damn deadly I cannot even understand how bad it is and thanks Marco Bar for Tire one steps for a gift to Marco. Wow, nice. Really appreciate that. So now we seem to get, I mean, one second. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, here we are. Wow. Exactly 109 and no, 120. What I'm, I mean, 90, what I'm thinking. We get <clears throat> this over, right? This over. So now let's try to go along the game. And here will be some kind of, you know. I want to, I want to get to you to the game for B6. D4, right? I mean, this is, I think a fire defense, but you know how to, need to how, how to play. D4, should be seven, let's see three. You can see what I'm doing. Simply trying to get my pieces out. And I can even recommend you to play this thing. If you want to play in your games, when you meet again, when you meet this line, since this is really, really understandable, and easy to play as well. <coughs> e6, e6. Should be 3. I mean, the main line here should run for something like. Well, I remember the things. And yeah, this way. Like knight 3, this is the main line. And then knight okay, should be 4. And we should be 3. And knight 6. And queen e2, d5. And this stuff. And if a knight 4 Yeah, this stuff. And actually, you know, I found it not so easy to play this stuff. For white. So I recommend against this thing. I want to tell you. <coughs> so I do recommend play should be three first. First. <coughs> and then here I mean like now something you know, if some bad players can try this is something really typical, and a lot of guys who playing this. O oh, and defense want to go for it's f5. Trying to fight for the open of this diagonal right here. Yes, this is something rich. This is actually this is like this is the O and defense. Not similar, but this is O and defense. What are you thinking? Queen h5 right now runs to g6, which is a bad move. So now you play this first. Take the pawn first. Well, I mean, like, I am pretty sure my sub is always being sh my sub is shy. I'm always on Wi-Fi. You know, you know, like my channel. I know, I know them. They are, you know, pretty like me. Be shy for sure. E five, and now you know. Now here's my questions. Should she too? <coughs> and now Queen H five is really dangerous. Really dangerous. My first question is that. What can you do if he play king e7? What can white do at this position if he play king e7? It's the first question today. Or not? <laughs> yes, queen g5 is a move. Oops, I'm sorry to you know reveal reveal the answer so quickly, but I mean like. You know, like, you can always be free to give your recommendation. 
And I'm really happy to explain that to you guys. Don't worry. Bishop g5 seems to be a good one first. With this pin right, we can play knight 6 to close the pin. So it is not something so strong. Queen g5 is better, absolutely. Since you not only want to check the king, you also want to play this. And now you win a free pass. You understand? That's why. And so g6 is the only move. It's the only move right here. But now here comes the best. Here comes the best. Fg6. Here comes the best. And here, this is the reason why we play e this f5 earlier. Right now, if he play bishop h1, so what can white do to win? What can white do to win the game and finish the game right away? What can white do here to finish the game right away? Guys, once again, a very basic question. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm gonna wait for you know like I'm trying to wait for you guys like 30 seconds f for each questions yeah G7 is the best this is similar the best so now you got the this card check right here and text here and now you get another queen another queen and you know this is something really hard to expect but now we get another queen only after nine moves only after nine moves we got another queen and now you know I don't even know what is this position. Well, it is only plus 32. No, no, it's, it's mid right now. It's mid right now. It doesn't allow us to see something so strong like that. And you know, f6. Some games here continue with this. Not f6. Some games here continue with this. But now you can play g7. And you're still queening next. Right? And think the same. Completely the same. Two queens in nine moves. So here, so I do recommend you play this. We should be three first, and knight g two, right? Knight g two. You can see white is holding a slight advantage after five moves. Knight six. A three. I mean, now it is becoming quite bad for him. Obviously, he doesn't want to come back to bishop e seven, but taking here is dubious. I get my knight here, and now you can see if 5 is damn strong. And now I can stun attack right now when I get the bishop here. C6. And I told you, I told you how bad it is. E5. It's coming. E5 is coming. Text. Here and text and queen g4. I tell you, like, this stuff is really dangerous. Especially when the bishop cannot come back here to defend this one in g7. Castle simply allows bishop a 6 Which is simply. I think should be reasonable right away, right? So g6 is really playing the game, but this is even worse. So g5 is coming. Good the tempo. Now e7. Castles. You can see we are playing on the best move in the game. On the best move. C6. And f4. The attack is coming really fast. The attack is coming fast. And like get nothing to defend against that. I mean like if you play here, this is something suicidal. F5 bishop F6, whatever it is, this is completely suicidal. But if he doesn't like run the queen run the king away, his king will be like far dead right here. Since queen c7, which he played in the game, is still f5. And he cannot castle right here. Since this knight on e7 is hanging. He played d6. With that, hopefully I can defend, but no. He led me to attack an e file, and now it is completely over after 16 moves. 16 moves, right? GG. GG, once again. So now this is the game number 4. Game number 4. Let's keep going. You guys understand that? I'm going to try to make it like the best for you guys to understand I'm gonna try and make it like the clearest way keep on going keep on going right let's go let's go 
another one. Oops, now it's taking longer than I thought. Hello, opponent. Hello. Hello, Flamebelt. You know, like, you can always learn here. You can always learn here. I don't know. I mean, like, at this level, so sometimes people just playing some, you know, not so quick mobs, and they doesn't try to develop things fast. Sometimes they forget about the development, just go for some, like, no mobs. Err, uh, what a second? How can I get an 1100... 1129 1199 player right here I'm inviting but how can I get this one okay I'm at what let's try to fast some okay let's try custom challenge again okay so let's make it okay like this like this okay fine go again yeah no white again no white again yeah I mean they did make some portion of blunders Why I just white every game? Guys, okay, when I said that, now I'm not going to re resign anymore. But why is white every game? So now E4 and D4? What do you guys want to? E4 and D4? What do you guys want? Okay, E4, for What do you want? Let's go. E4, E5. Nice. So now, you know, I can play a lot of stuff. An F3, F4, D4, Bishop C4, and C3, Queen H5, King E2. <laughs> you can choose right now, you can choose right now. What do you want? I mean, I want to do something really instructive. So, I mean, King E2 is so dangerous, actually. Okay, so, classical. I mean, like, I'm trying to make something really, really <laughs> instructive. So, Bone Cloud or Queen 5 is something, that's what I want to see. Let's play with Nef3. 3 6 Oh, D6. This is called Philidor's. This is called Philidor Defense. I mean, this is something really old. And Philidor simply, you know, is the guy really, really long time ago. Even like in this tennis time. I think once time this is even once time this is even called Stannis defense. Once time, if I was not mistaken, this is called Fleetor or once time being called Stannis defense. And Stannis always, you know, like being known for the guy who is like playing boring games. Stannis actually. Well, D three is not a good move. I mean, like you can do something much more active. So now you can do d4 for sure, try and fight for the center. I'm gonna play bishop c4 first. Try and develop the bishop out, and you can do d4 whenever you want to. Bishop e6. Okay, I'm gonna go right away. And then d4. Knight d4. That's what I wanna play here. Take this pawn with the tempo. You can play d4 right away. I mean, like, there are a lot of stuff. But I want to play this first and see what happens. If I should be played right away, the spawn is being weak. What are these players you getting? I don't know. Um, Well, I think you missed that box busy. We played the last sub battle two days ago. And although we are losing with a small margin. I think I can take a lot of positive things from this and we can try to be better for sure, right? Castles What are these players you're getting? I don't know I mean, they're pretty good, but I'm better No, I don't, I don't, I don't mean that Next Sabaro schedule Still not. I mean, like, before doing that, before doing that, I want to, you know, like, train you guys for a bit. I want to, you know, train you guys for a bit first. And I want to, you know, make sure that we can do better next time. I see, this is a bad move. I mean, like, I absolutely don't know why I need to waste time for this. 
which is absolutely, you know, unnecessary. Nice tree. Just keep developing first before you think about the immediate action. Hello, in Hungary, I this is the second time I see this question. I mean, like, I don't think that is something so necessary. I mean, depends on you. If you guys want that, it is something I need to do, so I will try to get. But I mean, like, I think this is something that the reading points just simply indicate strength. If they are, you know, like strong enough, so you can get better. Or if simply they are not so strong enough, so you can, you know, do not play good and still lose the rating. And by the way, so I think like refund the ratings only necessary when you're like teaching some guys playing against bad players. But now I'm playing myself, I don't know. I think it depends on you guys. C5 is a bad move. I tell you, like, this is like the really, really natural and typical mistakes. Typical mistakes that I see a lot of you guys playing. Yeah, like in the last five games. I see those guys playing this. Simply pushing your pawn here, trying to kick my knight away from the center. This is not a good move. Since it allows me to go knight b5, and by pushing your pawn, by pushing the pawn on c7, you make this this pawn become a winner. You understand? So that is once again a blunder for sure. Knight a6 and I tell you okay I see a free pawn um should I take that okay guys so for the content for the content I will I will not take in a free pawn for the content and we'll go for the beautiful games I will go for the massacre I'm sorry some Indonesian guys first I'm sorry I want to go for the massacre. I see some strong ways to do right now, and I don't see any reason why I should not refrain from that. His king is really bad here, so now I see some strong moves to f finish the game. So I'm gonna go to attack right away. E5. If you play here, so play knight e4, and I can play knight e6. As I tell you, if you play queen e5, and go to e1 and go for this, I will try explain this stuff. You know, like clearer and you know in more details after the game finish. Knight four. And now I attacking the knight and I want to play this as well. This is practically over. If you play queen e7, I'll get queen h5. Check. And play this nice. Queen d8. Check right now. Check. So now you see like now I'm getting the attack going. If you play g6, I can take here. So now king e7 seems to be a must. King d7 seems to drop d1 and take the queen. You can see how crushing it is. How crushing it is right now. It is simply over. King e7. Alright guys. Now you know, you can play a lot of stuff. You can even take the exchange by playing bishop g5. Here and then queen h8. You can take exchange. But as I told you, I want to go for the massacre. So by no ways I'm gonna go for that. I want to go for some attack right away. Let's keep going. Developing pieces with tempo. Bishop G5 is absolutely playable. But as I tell you, I want to play something much more better. So I want to go for that. I want to play something stronger. And make it becoming something like a beautiful assault to make you guys understand the thing. Queen b6. Well, attacking my knight, queen here, knight d6. You can see the pieces, their pieces cannot join the game, and now my knight simply control the game. My knight, and always remember that a queen and two knights to attack the king is like deadly, deadly combo. And now the queen simply get here, and now I think the end is near, and it's really near right now. It's over. <clears throat> I don't see any way for him to defend against Queen F7, and with that, the game. <clears throat> I will explain you guys after the game 
clearly about how to make this kind of thing fast in the opening and how to you know like making some good attack in a position when you're ready after this <coughs> I mean, that's, that's why you need to, you know, watch some streams and learn from us. I mean, obviously, you know, like, I am not the only option. You can watch Dana stream, watch Hikaru stream, Levi stream, whatever it is. Depends on you. A lot of options for you. Just found somewhere that you feel that, okay, this guy is the best. This is good, right? <coughs> This over. This king need to go to D8, which enter this is Ray, and now this is dead. Dead. Why the plan win? Now it's your work. Now it's your work. You know, like obviously I win trying to ask questions throughout the way. Why the plan win? Finish him. I give you one minute. I got a lot of time here to spend, so one minute. Finish him. Let's go. You can see right now that all the his pieces cannot join the game. Like this knight very bad on the rim. This two rooks, this bishop, you know, and we had one, two, three, four attacking. Not this for sure. This is enough. So what do you want to do here? Yeah, kind of. I mean, each one should be win. Or we should be six, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, like, it is not something like to play in win, but should be like the best way to win. Probably. Yeah, it's three win for sure. I guess. I don't know. Plenty of way to go for a win, actually. I'm just not sure what is the best. I mean like now I think should be over. This I mean like nice c4 is the best way to do it for sure. For you guys who want simply who want to go for the material. I'm trying to fight for the mid. Okay, I'm gonna play this. I wanna go for the mid. I mean like I want to end a massacre with something better. Just simply capturing pieces. Obviously nice c4 is the best. Since it is easiest and it doesn't require any calculation, right? But I want to go for the mid. Now I'm simply removing defender. This knight f6 is controlling a lot of squares, so I'm trying to remove that right away. I mean, we are beautiful. We are playing such beautiful games, right? So I just doesn't want to end that with only a mirror. Queen, this is not that what I want to do. I want to go for the death. Let's see how can defense here. No, I don't see any defense. Now I want to do something like move the knight next and then queen yet, whatever it is. Should be over. Yeah, finding mid here is not that easy. I'm spending time, but still not so sure what to do. Okay, he takes, okay, now it's gonna be 5, we'll go for test. I don't plan for this for a long time. King sit, so now queen d7. Actually, here he can go bishop d6 to avoid the mids. No, it's still not mid, actually. But okay, that's enough. I don't know, this is enough. Kind of. Okay, yeah, let's accept that. It's not a mid. Jeez. Fail to find a mid here, this position. Well, not a good player to do, not a good player. Okay, fine. Let's accept that. It's over. S3 obviously is the best. I mean, you obviously you can do the same thing. You mean like Nessie 4 first. But I mean, I just want to go for the beautiful. I 
Hey guys, when I'm waiting for him to play, I'm eating the banana. Guys, banana, cheer. One, two, three, cheers. Well, I, you know, like, I did prepare some pie and some banana. Since today I do want to stream to 1 p.m. So I want, okay, he find the best move. He find the best move. Okay, let's finish the game. Let's move, move to the next one. This is enough for him. Oops. And thanks for, you know, thanks Marco Bar for that bets. I don't know how many is that, but I'm pretty sure. Hopefully you found my explanation. It's short tip and good for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Three points, okay, three points. I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide the game quick and go to the next one. Wow, thanks Jam Jam for a Taiwan subs. Wow, thanks for thanks for that. I know Daniel is not here today, but I think we both miss him. Hello Jam Jam. Wow, and another 500 bits. Oh wow, really appreciate it. Wow. So hello guys and thank, thanks guys for that support and hope you guys have a fun time here. I will play chess for more than like an hour. For an hour. The flasher? This is flasher? Okay, GG. I'm gonna explain the game first. This is a flasher? I don't know. Today I wear today I wear this. Wow, hype train. Thanks Dean Key for the prime subs. Oh wow. Hype train. A long time don't see this. Wow. And another give the subs. Oh wow. This is crazy. Thanks guys a lot. I mean, this is, I mean, this is not a fly shirt, but I mean, this is getting colder in my country. This is getting colder in my country. So I wearing this. Now it is 11, yeah, 11 Celsius in the country right now. Fly. Give me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I'm flying. Okay, so let me try to explain the game first before trying to fly actually. Hello Zeta, it is so early. No, no, it is so late in your place right now. Why you staying up so late like this? Thanks my friend. Wow, 10 subs. Wow, 10 get the sub for from Jam Jam. Wow. 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 Wow, wow, wow. And another get the subs. And 5,000 bits! Oh, wow! Whoa, whoa! This is crazy! OMG! I don't even expect this! Wow! This is crazy! You're insane, Jam Jam! You're insane! Oh, wow! This is crazy! This is crazy! We did make the hype train! Wow! Let's celebrate, let's celebrate. Wow. You're the best. Jam jam. Nice, nice. And thanks to Michael Bar again for some steps. And let's keep it, let's keep it up. Okay, so D6. Sub C4. I mean, you can, you can absolutely play D4 here. This is fine as well. D4 something like, okay, let's keep going. He can play something like 97 or 84. And this and this, this is still fine as well. But in the game, we just play something pretty easier. Okay, keep it up. You guys, let's keep, I mean, I want to play this for another hour. And then, you know, I want to try and travel around the world with you after this. I mean, let's play together, right? And then I'm gonna travel 
around around where with you. Yes, don't worry. I mean, like, thank Jim Jam again. You are the best. Wow, and another gift of stuff from Joe Nathan. Wow. Today we're on height. Wow. I'm happy for that. I don't know if I should cry, I don't know. I mean, I still remember that Dania almost got crying. Dania almost got crying when he reached 4,000 subs. I mean, if, if I'm reaching, you know, like 200 subs, I may cry, I don't know. But forget about that. Just keep going. It might take a long time, actually. Okay, should we six. Now you text here and by doing that, by, by taking on this pawn right here, so you make his pawn structures become quite winners and quite exposed, right? Text, text, and d4. Open up the position, and here's another d4 with the tempo. Text, text, queen f6. This is a bad move by him. I mean, like one thing and one typical thing that the play player at this level makes is that they're trying to get the queen so early in the game or simply they're trying to push some pawns which is something like a bit unnecessary i mean he can do e5 right here for instance or queen d7 probably and spend this square for the knight f6 by playing this not on not only he played a queen move so early but also also, he occupied the square for the knight. You can simply imagine things like this. 61 incoming? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, like, I am not so in a hurry. I mean, like, I got the left. I'm super happy for that. So, you know, I'm not asking for support. I mean, like, my, my you know, responsibility to do is trying to keep up, keep up, Speaking better, explain things better, and make you guys feel like okay, this guy is good, and I can learn much thing from him. That's enough. I'm not a guy who wants to, you know, like asking for support or something like that. Don't worry, no, no, I'm, I'm having fun. Don't worry, I'm having fun. Don't worry, Alex, I'm having fun for sure. Don't worry. Queen of six. You can see this. Okay, so like this. You can see that this knight. I mean, this bishop want to do, want to develop to e7, right? In order, in order to castles. Wow, another get the stuff from Marco Bar. Wow, wow, this is crazy. <coughs> okay, let's start again. Okay, you guys are distracting me. <laughs> Come on, I keep going. I mean, like bishop e7 is what you want to play for the bishop, right? And well, you are also as well, Marco. I mean, I still remember. I still remember you give me fifty bucks, you know, a couple of days ago. I still remember that. Okay, so let's take a look again. Bishop e seven is where play one to develop his bishop in order to castles, right? And then knight f six. But when playing queen f six, suddenly with the bishop, for it hard to get to e seven. But if you play this the next move, his knight have nowhere to run. So by playing this, suddenly this is becoming really awkward. Well, let me share together with you guys. Let me share together with you guys. You can say I'm having a lot of fun here. Although I still do not understand understand what is this high potion. I mean, like, so if I drink that potion, so how can I turn out to be someone who is even smarter or someone worse? Someone worse? <laughs> yeah, a frog? It should be a frog, right? I don't know. It should be a frog? I don't know. Forget that. Okay, so nice castles. You can see what I do in my games. Instead of trying to think and fire plans so early, what I always do is trying to simply castling quick. Right? Simply castling quick. Trying to get out of my pieces. And then I'm going for attack after that. H6. Once again, a really bad move. I mean, like, this is absolutely unnecessary. Now, he needs, obviously, you can see that when your opponent has finished development, one thing you should do is trying to do the same thing right away. Right away. As fast as you can. You don't have a time for some move like this. 
especially when the king, your king, is not in here, and it is no need for you know defend this square. This is really, really unlucky for him to do this. Nice c3. I don't dare. I don't care. I'm simply trying to get my pieces out. And c5. This is like the grave blunder. He's just trying to kick my knight away, without forgetting about the holes that playing that makes. I mean, like you need to try and think twice. This is like a very, very important rules in chess. Trying to think twice before you trying to push a pawn or trying to exchange pieces, because the pawn cannot move back, and the pieces cannot appear again on the board. This is something like a really important rules for you guys to understand. I want to tell you that. A very important rules. Remember? Once again, let's try to think twice before trying to push the pawn or trying to exchange pieces. Since the pawn cannot be coming back and the pieces cannot appear again in the board. You can say here, so push the pawn, make you happy, something like that. Okay, so now I push the pawn, I can feel, I can get some spaces, but somehow it left, it just left a lot of spaces left. A lot of space. You can see right here, right? You can see this, right? So now we five. So I was just by playing this. Now we got this and this as well. Now six. And now it is where I told you earlier, you can absolutely play in this move. Which is fine as well for sure, which is pretty fine. But right now, why do I play e5? Which is the best move in the position and with the move I play in the game. Why I'm playing this? Why don't I not keeping like developing? But I trying to go for the attack. There are some reasons for this. First, you can see this. Now when I play e5, so I harass his queen on f6. If he playing this, so I go to e1 trying to open up this e-file and since the king and yet is still remaining on the center so open up the file can only benefit us right second i see that when i play this if you play here so get knight e4 which is the game continuation play knight e4 and then i go in for the fast attack right here both and i controlling e4 i'm controlling d6 and then i can jump to that whenever i want to with a very very dangerous threat Third, I can see that his pieces, his pieces are really, really, really misplaced. This knight only wording this, and all these pieces still not developing. And now I see some chances to get a fast attack. So I go for the assault right away. The king is not safe enough. And I have a lot of threats if I play correctly. You understand me? I'm trying to explain something pretty slow. Hopefully you can understand that. E5. Good move. Takes. Knight 4 The knight join again with the successive fighter. This and this is coming. Also this. I mean queen f5. Both this and this allows him to play knight 6 and win free queen right here, right? So we play even queen, queen e7. I'm playing queen h5 check. And now queen f7. Also this again. You can see how strong the pair of knight is, right? So queen d8 was his choice in the game, queen d8 and queen five check. King e7. Another thing, I mean now you need to choose, like, okay, so about material or about how to bring a fast attack. So what do you choose? Sometimes, you know, you always need to make choice, not only in the game, in chess game, but also in life. He needs to make a choice. So, by playing bishop g5, which is a fine move for sure, this and queen h8, you can win material. But, I mean, like, I want to go for a fast attack. And since all of the pieces is here, so in the chat, we call like temporarily, we are playing with more material for the time being. So, I just want to ignore the material. Instead, I just keep on attacking Rook D1. Rook D1. Queen B6. A bad move. And now Knight B6. And now you see, like, my Rook is controlling the default. 
my queen is getting f7 and my two knights are defending each other like this is a perfect combo right a perfect combo and now it is plus 30 plus 30 30 not only 3 not only 13 but now plus 30 so you see like how bad it is for black to enter this position and how strong wise attack is right so knife 6 oh, no no not that knife 6 and now queen f7 king d8 i don't see the mid right here probably the engine may see that you can see right here okay so i don't have the engine here it sucks i don't know should be okay nice e4 you see nice e4 here it's still plus 19 i don't know it's still winning for sure i don't go knife 6 which is what engines like actually best move gf6 knight b5 i don't think this is bad best move no, not a bad not a bad move at all but not strongest i don't see the best way probably nice e4 i don't know yeah this is the best move nice e4 right now but well i mean like you're winning here whatsoever so fine maybe six here so test test is over right i don't think the last part of the game requires some explanation well i mean like whatever the knight i mean wherever the knight go he will go bishop d6 so simply it doesn't change much right wherever your knight go he will go with this sacrificing some material in order to not be emitted so well i mean we need to take that material and play slowly that's what i did in the game okay good well this game is that you understand and need another questions feel free to ask questions if you want to feel free to ask questions if you want to if not so we'll just keep going right keep on going i mean like i am trying to make this really instructive for you guys and today i will even upload this on youtube i will start doing a lot of youtube things and youtube material in a couple of days so you guys can come to my discord if you want to here or simply you know i will start to be more active on youtube that's what i'm going to do let's go hello 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 will next game right next game please i want to take black black please four wise game in a row that should okay finally oh wow oh guys what a strong opponent what a strong opponent oh wow let's see it's three two three four five 1900 wow strong guys right here what's that do queen what did you want i do yes i do offer lessons let's play c5 okay let's play c5 yes okay so i do one second let me try to change to this and i do get lessons for sure and then here should be this i if i was not mistaken yes this one okay bishop c4 mm, well this seems to be i don't know but actually i don't like this move although it did it have been played by some strong guys including nakamura i think he did play this against the game against mvl this is fine move for sure Yeah, should be yeah, the butler attack, the butler attack. I don't even know how to say that name, but this name seems to be dubious. Let's go with this move. <clears throat> this game should be hard for sure. This guy is pretty strong. 1900. How can my opponent be this strong like this? Oh, jeez. This is not so good for sure. Yeah, and he can replay this against MVL and win if I was not mistaken. Knife 3. Okay, now you can play a lot of stuff. I mean, D6, E6, more than a fine. But you know like if you know if you know like me 
So you know I am the guy who always want to Fianquita my bishop. One go g6. Trying to fianquita this bishop to g7, which is what I always wa always want to do. Oops, sorry, I was a bit slower. Somehow I'm feeling that I'm starting to speak so fast. Since I'm so happy right now. Yeah, I can play six afterwards to blunt the bishop. C3, a good move. This guy is a good player for sure. He trying to play d4 to occupy the center. I mean, I simply want to become better. I mean, depends on you. I mean, like, want to be better? I don't know. But I mean, like, yeah, I think I would try to change that. Of course, in, okay, after this one, I don't know. So she's seven. <coughs> Developing pieces. <coughs> okay, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. I mean, it depends on you. If you feel like you want to be better, so you can do that, obviously. But you, if you feel like, okay, that is enough. Or, you know, like, even if you do not learn from me, so watching me like this, watching me streaming like this, and support me here is something so beautiful as well. So don't worry. I mean like right now if we don't want to learn so you know like watching streams like this or simply trying to watch YouTube things, I don't know. And there are a lot of streamers who can be really instructive. So it depends on you and you know like you don't worry, don't worry. I mean I'm not so fine I'm not so worried for that. Hmm, see okay, castles. Okay, one by d4, right? This game is quite tricky, actually. Okay, let's play d6, yes? It depends, actually, it depends. I mean, like... For some of you guys, so I mean like, okay, so I'm gonna try, okay, so this game, I will try to answer questions and, you know, talking about some kind of lessons, and then after this, after the game, I will try to explain things after that, right? I will try to explain things after the game. So now I will talk about the lessons stuff, and, you know, like how the parents think about that. I mean like, you know, I'm 24 right now, and, you know, like I know some stuff, I know something about that, so I will try to tell you right now. First of all, first of all, I think your parents. I mean, I don't think I'm not so sure what to say, but it depends. I mean, like everything, we need like everything we need helps from not only like the teachers, not only from our strength, but also we need to help get help from the, you know the parents help we need from parents help so i mean like your parents may have a correct choice i don't know i mean like for some people so chess is still like you can watch this for sure you can watch chess for sure but learning that or simply getting professional is still not something you know so necessary i mean it depends on the country as well I mean like if if chess is really popular in your place right now so that's fine stuff fuck I just do with so many strength. Oh. I'm sorry first. I'm sorry first. I mean, like I don't mean to swear. Since it will come, it will come to YouTube. I just swearing. That's why I try and slap my face. I just do that so so big. Jeez. I mean, like I don't expect. A 29 dot plane, that's shit. Okay, but now I know why. Now I know why. 
I can see his rating is provisional. His rating is provisional. Now I know why. Now I completely understand why. <coughs> okay, guys. So before, before I'm talking about this game, I will talk a bit about you know like the lessons and about like what Paris on what wants to do. First, I will tell you guys about my story first. I mean, actually, not a good start, not a good study, not a good story for sure. I mean, like, I will tell you about my story first. It is not, it is not a fun story, but I think you guys can understand this. I mean, like, okay, so I've been learning chess for 17 years. I've been learning chess for 17 years. A decent time, right? Well, not a sad story, but not a fun story as well. I've been learning chess for 17 years. So, you know, at first, my father doesn't allow me to learn chess. At first. You know, he said that, okay, chess is not so good, for sure, and then it has come to nothing. Why don't you try to do some other stuff like, you know, trying to be a doctor, or trying to learn to be some other stuff, just it's not that good. I mean, like, this is a thing, and you know, this thing and that thought can only be changed. Can only be changed. If chess is that popular in your country, and chess in, like, when, like, five, 15 years ago, chess is nowhere near popular in my country. Actually, that is a thing in my country. And then, you know, like, for it just started to be quite popular for a few years. When, you know, like, a lot of fathers and, you know, simply, I mean, like, in my, I don't know about in your countries, but in my countries, so the parents doesn't want their kid to play a lot of phone games, of games on the telephone. I mean, like, in my country, so the majority of the parents just want to, you know, want their children to play chess. Since they think that it will have them to become smarter and it doesn't allow them to play, you know. Or simply it is something like much more beneficial than just playing games. That's why. That's why. And you know, when they come into, you know, when they starting to 10th grade, or they starting to enter the high school, so their home simply like quit, like let the child quit chess, and then you know like come back to learning, or they can try to you know go abroad to learn in the university, or simply doing other stuff. And the thing is that I mean like first of all I mean. A lot of people doesn't think that it is really good and you know you can be able to earn the living for chess. I mean like it is not that easy to use chess as a way to earn for the living. Right? I think that is a great thing to think. Although you know I am also a chess player, but I cannot help but actually admit with that. It's not that easy to you know earn for the living for chess. Right? I mean, like for me, so I can still play an event, I can still stream it like this. So you know, like I can, I can still earning enough of my living. But like for most just you correct Jonathan, for most students, for most families, just is only a hobby, only a hobby. I mean, only something to do when you're free, only something to do when you can try to you know, like get better at thinking logical. I don't know. But I mean like something like like that, I mean. So I mean like actually just need to, you know, at least attract more players or simply trying to get more prizes. I don't I think that should be the way to attract more parents, I don't know. <clears throat> but the thing I mean like I love chess. I love chess for sure. And this is about your this is only about your choice and your passion. You still 
if you still love us, so you can forget about the life and you can ignore about what they said and keep up with your work. And for the I mean like for the guys who doesn't be supported by the family or the family simply think that okay this is not a good thing to learn chess all the time or trying to you know waste money for learning chess. So you know everything got it method everything got it method. You can try to learn without a coach by you know watching the stream, asking strong guys for some recommendations, for some informations, or doing that stuff. Or simply try and learn yourself, although it might take a long time, but if you're still passionate for that, so you can still be better. Believe me, believe me. Well, I mean, you can think me as example. At first, my father doesn't allow me to play chess, but I'm still playing. My mom, you know, my mom really support me, and she, you know, even sometimes she need to hide my dad to give me the chance to play chess. Actually, that is. So you know, by her help and by my passion, I did you know. So sit. I mean, like right now, I can think and I can probably say that I have been quite succeed, successful, with my chess career, right? So you know, like although not that easy, I mean, I need to quit. I need to quit a lot of my other hobbies. I need to you know, like, simply forgetting about all the other stuff. But I'm still being like this, which actually I'm pretty proud of, proud of actually. So you know, hopefully I can meet you guys one day, and say together with you guys that we have been successful together. Or simply, hopefully we can both be successful in our way, in the chess career. Finally, simply before coming to the games, simply wish all the best for me, for you guys watching here, for every chess lover in the world. Hopefully we can still getting along with what we want to do, and we can you know keep loving and keep having a passion for this. Hopefully we can try to make something out of this, and we can be considered a succeed person. Well, right now, no, no, kind of. Right now he's no anymore, since I can't earn a living enough. Okay, sorry guys for not a fun story. Keep it in chess. I mean, this guy is playing dubious, since his rating is pretty provisional. So well, I mean, he's not playing strong. How old are you? Twenty four. C five, Sicilian. C four. I mean, like, for most of you guys, I do recommend against this. For most of you guys, this is not an easy opening to play, since sometimes it is quite hard to you know fight for the center, and bishop on c four is not that strong. In the game I'm playing c6. I chose to play the Fian Kettle to g7, but you can absolutely play e6, trying to blunt this bishop and trying to play d5 if you want to. Well, I mean like contact the Filipino Federation is quite not a good thing to do. If you are in, if you are in Manila, in Philippines, so one thing you should try to do is trying to get into, for instance, I mean like you can try to get to the website of the Philippine Chess Federation, and then you trying to you know, like see if there are any kind of events there, and then you join, or simply you can try to you know, like search for somewhere else if you got the money and if you got the. Enough. I mean, you get enough condition to play some open event. Depends on you.
you know, t typical Vietnamese family, don't worry. I mean, like, the thing that is like the most important is that you need to keep your passion. You cannot just lose your passion for chess just by the fact that your family doesn't support you, right? Let's keep going. I mean, look, it's stuff, stuff, from, stuff from this. I mean, now let's try to have some positive vibes and forget about this sad story. I mean, like, life is never easy, but we need to find a way to get through that. Right, guys? Is this correct, right? So forget about all this sad story and all these, you know, life things, since, you know, life is never easy and we all need to find a way to adapt and get better by ourselves. Once again, wish you guys all the best and obviously me as well. Next three, G6, you can play G6 as well, depends on you, you can do this as well. G6, forget, forget about that, forget about, okay, so, let's keep going. C3, he trying to get you 4 I mean like I want to sing for you guys a song to make you guys become happier but I forget that I need to turn this thing to YouTube so next time, I'm sorry So G7, Casos, D6, D4, he try. I mean like thing is pretty easy, I want to play F6 first taking this pawn but he can play e5 so now g4 and d4 and now my knight here is really really like misplaced so play d6 first d6 first like this he play d4 and takes takes knight f6 now the best move here for what i play d5 do you have an editor i don't know probably i'm doing that myself but not so sure about editor D5 where? I mean D5 where? Or you mean why play knight 6 and D5? But why is D5? D5 can only be available if you play E6. If you don't play E6. So D5 is impossible. I mean it is simply about your chance. Your choice, I mean your choice. And what you want to play in the opening. If you play G6 which is G7. So d5 is absolutely not a good thing to do so early. But if you play a6, so d5 is 5 for sure. And I am the guy who want to play the Fianchetta Bishop. That's why I play d6. But if you guys feel like, okay, so this is not a good thing to do, you can do e6. Depends on you. Some sponsors? I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, chess need to be, you know, at least more interesting. The thing is that, I mean, like, chess can hardly get a spectator. Chess can hardly get a spectator since actually, if you're not so, you know, understand about chess, this is so boring to watch. So boring to watch. Something like, I doesn't know to play tennis for sure, but I still love to watch tennis. I still love Federer. Right? But if you, like, don't have to play chess. How the hell you watch a chess like four hours game and you can try and watch the game for that long? Simply you can get sleep in the time. I mean like in club so only classical match is playing? Video games are boring too? No, I mean like I don't know how to play for instance, I don't know how to play Among Us. But it's still fun to watch, right? Or is it simply like phone guys, something like that. I don't know how to watch. I don't know how to play for sure, but still pretty funny to watch the game. This is C3, G7. Castles, D6. D4, takes, takes, and F6. I'm taking this pawn on E4. I mean, like, hitting, I think one thing you should guys should do is play nice C3 right away. Defending the pawn E4, playing normally. He played e5, and now it's not a good move. Since actually, like, as I told you earlier, you always need to have all your forces out before you're trying for an attack. Now this is something 
quite harsh for him. I mean, this is something not so correct. I can test here instead of the game continuation. If he plays here, like queen d1, and here play knight g4, and this e5 pawn is doomed. Right? Well, that's, that's why simply, I mean like, simply, rich to rich. I mean guys, the thing that is really clear is that, you know, the time with faster time control can be much, much more interesting. The thing is that, I mean, sometimes, you know, when Dineren and Giri are playing rapid games, but a lot of fans still watch my game in this. Instead of watching like the best of the world, like instead from watching the best from the world playing, they watch me, who is obviously a bad guy. But I'm playing this. <coughs> that is the thing. I mean, although sometimes you don't understand what I'm doing, you still find it okay. So especially when it comes to some speedy moment, interesting. But when you play, when you watch someone play fifteen plus ten. You know, like, if you don't understand what they are doing, sometimes it may feel like, Okay, this is so boring. This is so sleepy. Can I go out, please? Can I do another stuff? Something like that. Let's keep going. So, and he played Queen B3. Queen B3. Attacking F7. Pawn here, right? So you can absolutely see that <clears throat> six years wow six years actually I have, I have been playing for six years correct but if you have watched me from the first day i'm playing so i'm really honored i'm really honored for that oh wow that is so adorable okay so keep on going right i mean right here you can see this he wants to take f7 right so instead of thinking for something so difficult or something you want to don't want to calculate, just playing this. Castling. Not only you get the king into safety, but you also defend this F7 pawn right now. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm starting to talking fast. DD5, 94. In the game he blunder badly. Badly. But I mean like e6 should be his best move here. This should be the best move. And guys, one thing I always re recommend you guys when you make this f e6, if you can, is play f5 right away. F5. You don't even need to think like okay this is good or not. But this is something like a natural move. You should make right away. Since if you're playing this, you can take this and now your pawn structures becoming quite scattered. If you're playing f6. Simply you will block your knight on g4 to coming back and you block this bishop on g7. So f5 is always like a natural move you guys can play right here. Also on this position you can do something better. I think this is better actually. Knight 5 You're going for the bishop here. It's good as well. So probably, I don't know. This is fine move. You can play this possibly. But in the game, he doesn't even see the pawn e5, he plays h3. Bad move, I can take the pawn here. Takes, takes. And now he plays this move once again. And he blundered this. And now I will capture exchange next. And I will be up two pawns as well. So wins two pawns and exchange. Which simply means that you're winning nearly a rook in material, right? And he resigned right away. It was games, I don't know. I mean, like another question, an another story time, another story time. Five years ago. This is first time five years ago. This was the first time I come to Russia, to play the one and only Aeroflot Open. I think for some of you guys here, although you haven't played, you must have heard about Aeroflot, right? Five years ago. And you know, like an aeroflot, so they trying to divide the tournament hall into three parts. Three boards, 
A, B, and C. A is for the guy who is playing, like, for some GM guy who is like over 2550, over 2550. B is for the guy who's from like 2200 to 2550. And C is below 2200. So I play like five years ago. I play in the B tournament, but I mean like in B tournament. So we are playing like 90 minutes plus 30 seconds. Yeah, plus 30 second increment, and then after move 40, we got another 30 minutes. This is the time control. But in the A in the A tournament, you know what are they playing? They playing one hundred and twenty minutes plus forty seconds per move. After forty moves, they get another hour for both sides to think. And after sixty minutes, they get another thirty minutes. For people to think. In Russia, so sometimes they want to try to make the games like really top quality. But there are a couple of games which was played from like 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. 12 a.m. You can imagine so nine hours of game. Nine hours classical game. Only eating banana or some mere food. Or drinking some water and then playing nine hours games. Not only we're talking about the players, but I mean to watching this is damn sleepy. <laughs> I mean damn sleepy. But obviously the game should be in top quality for sure. But I bet that if you want to play that, you should be you know like in the top health condition. You need to be like really like one hundred percent strong mentally if you don't you will get you know third after two days of playing okay skip that okay another game another game actually fun one this is the fun game today and okay so now let's talk about on other topics now only chess, another game, fun one, and then trying to travel around the world with you guys, play a couple of GeoGuessr, time to do some other fun stuff. Main do you exercise to keep in good shape for chess? Surely, surely we are. I mean like for chess players like us. So we, on not, not only we need to practice chess, but on the but also we need to practice like mentally strong. We need to, you know, like practice exercise or go to the gym. I don't know, but a lot of ways for us to, you know, practice for our mentally, for our mental, to be ready for an event. Now I'm going like this. So, you know, now I'm streaming. So I'm not like practicing enough, but if I need to prepare for an event, I will. Yeah, a new game, sure. Okay, guys, stopping, stopping all the other stuff. Ready? Daniel? Daniel's playing? Oh, jeez, Daniel's playing? Okay, if you want to, probably fine. Okay, guys, E4, so Daniel starts streaming. I think you need to stay offline today. But it is a surprise to see him online right now. Surprising. Okay, E4. So now what do you want me to play? This? 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 Or this? Now what do you want me to play? Karakon? It's for you. Karakon. I know this stuff as well. I mean like for some players like me, so I need to understand a lot of stuffs. Or sorry Zuki, I mean like, actually I do not meant to do some puzzles today.
I mean, like, that would take a lot of time. So, I don't think so. But let's see. Okay, ED5. This is the exchange variation in the Kurokan. Set that. Dania won in game 4 against Timur Gorev. And Gorev actually, he's really famous for, you know, like the guy who, if I was not mistaken, who hold the record. Who did hold the record for playing most part? You know, blindfold. Yeah, most blindfold boards. Okay, now 6. Let's play the main line in the pan-off. The pan-off attack. By playing this pan off, so why trying to strike in the center right away? This or this was playable. Black actually got two choices to play in this position. I'm gonna talk about that later. Nice 66. Yeah, this is the pan off defense. No, no, pan off attack, what I'm talking. Pan off attack. Against an uh, knife three. Okay, guys. So now for black. Now time to talk. Now there are a lot of choices to go for black in this position. The main line here run bishop g four, but this is really theoretical and requires a lot of knowledge. E six is second line, and g six is third line. There are only three things here to play for black. I'm gonna play and wanna stick to the most theoretical one, which is G4. Normally, this thing will last, you know, like 15 or 20 moves in the opening. Bishop e2. I never see this move before. I will tell you about the opening after this. After this game for sure. Let's play e6 simply. Let's try and see man in the center. I mean, first time I see this move. First time, I'm pretty sure. But simply e6, trying, okay, bishop g5, bishop e7. <coughs> yes, let's cover that. I don't see any reason why not. S3, this stuff is strange. Okay, I'm gonna take right away. And now DC4. Now I win a pawn. Besides, this this the pawn is becoming a target. <coughs> Casos. I want to Casos to stay away from this pin. Now we need to play this. Actually, Rick is playing good. Rick is playing pretty good. But this is a bad move. Since you know, like. Now this pawn becoming a target as well, and a winner says. You need to play queen c4 to defend this d4 pawn at the same time. And now I take a free pawn on d4. This is a huge pawn actually. Gasos. I mean this guy on though like only 1300 is playing pretty well. He doesn't make any like bad blunders. And playing some really logical moves. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And by the way, so Daniel has been streaming, right? So if he's streaming, so if he want to play, so you guys can tell me, like, you guys can ask me, and then, you know. But actually, I, I need to go in 25 minutes. I really need to go in 25 minutes. Okay, good tempo. Developing with tempo. What I wanted to tell you earlier. 
You guys can find this in YouTube, I think, after this one. I will upload to YouTube maybe in an hour, I don't know. But I will. Yeah, this this man is doing well. I mean, this man is doing pretty well. Queen of 4, the only move, I don't know. Queen of 3? This guy is doing pretty well. Not making a huge blunder, huge blunder. And playing pretty logical things like this. Pretty good player for sure. This guy seems to be quite underrated. Or simply just doesn't play enough games, I don't know. But a good player, generally. Okay, now black is up a pawn, right? But this pawn on a7 is a queen access. <coughs> Plenty of move here for you to do. I want to go for b4, trying to attack this queen, and I want to double link to attack this b2 pawn as well. I mean, like, you always need to look out for your opponent's, like, obvious, uh, obvious target, obvious, obvious, what is this? So, rook b4, rook b8, I am targeting the opponent b2, which is the... Hmm, this one, this one is nice. This move is nice, actually. Since now, if I play... Bishop this year, so go queen b4, three rooks. If I go rook a4, you go bishop d4 and win the pieces. So now I'm going for this. Actually, I mean, like, he just really want to weaken my pawn structures. But that is what I want to do as well. I mean, like, by doing this, I got the g5 to attack. Second, I even have some ideas like f5 to block this diagonal, or simply I can even try and go for this stuff. Queen a6. This guy is doing pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty surprised to see what he's doing right here. <coughs> this man is great. I mean, Queen f4. This next. Oh, this next. <coughs> no, Queen c3 now. Sim okay, wait a second. Oh no, wait a second, queen c3, where? He can take simply and take rook b1 and we're down exchange. Now, some material. Queen a7, this guy is doing really well. I mean, I'm really surprising to see what he's playing here. He's doing well, surely he's doing well. You guys may be a little bit, you know. He's playing pretty well. Hmm, I need to think a bit actually. I mean, like, now rook b2 seems takes an, I mean, rook b2 is a good move. I do see that for sure, but... Okay, let's take it. If queen takes f7, so queen f2 is a mid. I mean, this is something stronger than a 1300. But it's still something not so strong, so let's see. <laughs> you know, like, um, we are just trying to jinx him. I am just trying to jinx him. <laughs> and that's over. I mean, like, he was playing so well for the game. So well for the game. And now... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rick. But I mean, like, guys, spam the end for me. Guys, spam the end for me. This is something, like, really basic tricks. This guy fought for that. I mean, we are just probably rinsing him too much. Jesus. Yeah, GG. Crazy one. Crazy buddy. <sighs> but, I mean, like, pretty well played by this guy. Although, although, he didn't... play something so bad, but, well... Blundering that is really dubious, actually. Wow, thanks for four. Yeah, thanks for four. That 20 bit. No, no, for the $20 by Blaze It. Blaze It 42 Canada. 
I'm sorry, I'm not seeing your words, but I mean, like, I will try to change. I will try and change that in my. Okay, I will try and change the setup so that I can see what you type. I'm sorry, but thanks for that. Four dollars. I really appreciate that. Thanks for four dollars. I appreciate that. GG. Okay, guys. So let's talk about the game. So now, I mean, like, okay, now I'm gonna make a poll. Blaze it. Okay, now I'm gonna make a poll. One second. Thanks, my friend. I really appreciate it. One second. What? Oh, no, 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 no. One second, one second. I'm gonna make a poll for you guys to decipher me. In the last. More chess. Jill. Here we are. Now it depends on you. Now it depends on you. I need to, you know, I need to go in 20 minutes. So now it depends on you. Let's vote. Let's vote it. Now you have two minutes to vote. I will try to go to talking. You know, we're trying to go to talk. I mean, like, I want to play with Daniel, but I don't think I will. Since I mean, like, playing only a 20 minutes matches with Daniel, it's not worth the time, right? I always play with Daniel, but you know, like, one hour matches or two hours. So, 20 minutes matches with him, not worth at all. Let's talk about the games and then we're coming back, right? You should read the message, man. Oh, jeez. Um. How can I do that right now? One second. Let me try to find that. I mean, it depends on you. It depends on you. You can vote. You can vote if you want to. They don't have messages? Sure, I mean, like, they don't need messages. I know that messages, but I'm trying to find how to read again. Sure, bro. One second. Let me try to find how to do that. Um, where to do them? Um, um, stream labs? Yes. One second, I'm reading that out loud for a while. One second, where is that? Um, it's an event, here we are. Okay, so thanks for 420 Canada for the donation. So here is your words. My ex-girlfriend was Vietnamese and she was beautiful. Just like your chess move. Weird girls, man. They're crazy. Well, I thanks for that. I mean like, so you trying to compare my chess move with a girl? Well, I think it should, it is, should be a worm. Comparison, I don't know what you want to say. I know they're crazy. But it's hard to say, since you know, like, I am, you know, 20, 25 years old without a girlfriend. 25 years old without a girlfriend, so I'm not so sure how to, you know, make a clear sentence about that. Um, <laughs> so somehow it, it's hard for me to talk. Jesus. I think you got a point, actually. You did got a point. But, uh, <laughs> well... I mean, somehow I'm running out worse. Hell, flex. Hell. I mean, obviously I want to have a beautiful girl, but I don't know where it can be. Where they can be. Jesus, forget that. Forget that. We talk about the games. I'm sorry. Wow, WGM girlfriend. What do you think? That's 25 years old. I mean, like. 18 years old is still normal, don't worry. You still get the 7 more point, I mean 7 years old to get oh, it's me. <laughs> don't worry for sure. And WGM girlfriend is nuts. Nuts, I mean. How well, can you do that? What do you think? One second, guys.
you guys, sorry, I'm back here. My mom just asked me to, you know, my mom just asked me to end a stream in 20 minutes, kind of. Okay, guys, let's come through the game quickly and then for the joke guessers. You know, my mom really approved me. What do you mean, like, approve? Yeah, I, I will get the automated, yeah, the messages reading. I mean, this is a cool stuff to do. I will do that for sure. And I'm sorry, not, do, not doing that. I will do that in the near future, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, like, she did approve me to get a girlfriend, but, you know, I still say no. No, 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 no. Like, I still want to focus on my chess career. I want to focus on my streaming. I want to do a lot of stuff. So, girlfriend, no. They are completely useless right now, for the time being. I mean, like, I will get girlfriend for sure in the future, but right now, my only answer is... Right? Okay, C6, let's go. C6. Let's go fast, and then we'll play a couple of Geogesser, and then I need to go. Can my mom speak English? Sadly, no. I think the only words she knows to say is hi or simply thanks. I don't know. I think that she doesn't know how to speak much. G5, Korokon. So he, so in my, there are a lot of choices for white, but in the game, he decided to play the pawn off. C4, Knight F6, Knight C3, Knight C6 in the game continuation, Knight F3. And as I told you earlier, now I can play this, this or this. But I play like the most active choices. And guys here, I can show you some of the opening's ideas here. The main move here is CD5 and Knight D5. <coughs> Queen B3 for this and this at the same time. Bishop F3 is the move. So here, so white got two choices, if I was not mistaken. No, 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 only choices, g3, g3. So now black can play e6. Or he can play knight d4. No, 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 d4 is also a mistake. Guys here, so one, you know, like this is something you have to be careful. White to play and win here. White to play and win. I want to go with the correct move after this one. White to play and win. This is where I tell you that the opening, like especially this one, is really, really, I mean, like tricky to play, and you need to be careful. Yeah, this is simply over. I mean, Venomist doesn't use English to speak with other Venomist girls, but well, I mean, like, I can get a, you know, I can get a non Venomist girlfriend, this fine for sure. I mean, I don't have any kind of stunt right now. Even myself, I don't even have any kind of stunt right now. I mean, like, just only a girl. Since I don't even think about that, so right now, only a girl is fine. The only standard I need is that it's a girl. <laughs> I don't need something else. Since I still not so care about that, takes so takes, and now you got this and this. It's over. Yes, first. And here, if you play knight to b6, something like that. Love d5, and now it's crushing again. Again, crushing. So here, the main, main opening moves is e6. This is the choice. And queen b7, knight d4. It should be 5. Take here. King e7 and queen b5, queen d7. To your amazement, this is the main opening move. And now you can play knight d5. This is this, this, or and this is here, which leads to a quite actually equal ending. And you can play queen b3 and keep going, but this is something pretty double edge. Double edge. In the game, simply black, I mean like Y doesn't know something about the theory, so he go for something like bishop e2, which is quite, I think not so strong actually. I 
I mean, this is not a terrible. This is something like really equal. You can check the engine, Zuki. But I mean, like, very dry position, for, yeah, very dry position for sure. It might suit some of the guys or not. But I mean, like, when you need to become better, so you need to play on this. Both, like, chaotic position and dry position, you need to know both. Sally it is. And, you know, Poe, I mean, like, I know that we cannot be so professional, professional in English since we don't use that as first languages, as a mother tongue. But I mean, like, since I'm streaming like this, so I need to go and I need to practice speaking. We both got, I mean, we both got the skills and the reason we need to learn English. But I mean, like, I love these languages and I want to be better for sure. And I want to be better. That's the thing only. E6. This is the game continuation. E6. Should be 5, should be 7. Just trying to block the pin and develop in the pieces as well. S3. And tick. Tick and DC4. Like this. Not only you take the pawn, but also you're trying to go for this. So Queen E4 is the best move here. That Rick make that in the game. Castles, stay away from this pin. If you're playing queen d4 right now, so simply go check and c6. You got this here, which is dangerous, right? Castles, takes, correct. And now instead of queen c4, which is something like pretty equal, I can't but bit right now. This thing always considered to be like really equal. Although, black got a very bad pawn here on c6. But why did got the same pawn in d4? Now rook b8 and rook b4 should be around equal here, if I was not mistaken. But queen c6, queen d4. Castles. Rook b8. Developing the tempo. I told you earlier. Rook b1, rook c8, another tempo. Queen a4, rook b4, takes, takes. Now simply, if you're playing this, so queen a7, play you playing this, so queen b4, you're playing this, so bishop b4, so you need to play that, you fix. Queen a6, rook c8, rook d1, and queen f4. You know, like, this is a very strong square for the queen. Not only we want to aim this pawn, we can also think about this in the future. That's the thing. Yeah, see you, the Caroni. See you in two days. Yeah, quiz six should be an accuracy, inaccuracy. I guess that. Queen of four, and now he play queen a seven, which is a good move. Rook b two, set a small trap. Set a small traps. That suddenly, black into right away. Well, I told you earlier, Zuki, you're playing this. The queen a seven, this one. You guys still playing this move. But now it is far from clear. And I mean, I don't want to give a pawn on a7. You lose a pawn here, and I don't think it is something necessary to, you know, give a weight pawn that easy. And queen c3. I mean, I understand your ideas, but it can only work out. If you have something like, if your bishop is on d6, if you play that so early, it's not working well. Since white already have played a move that opened up a flat square for the king, so queen c3 is impossible. You understand? I play queen f4 with this intention of playing this, of taking the pawn f2, and then I still look at that. You can see it in the game, I still look at this flat square as well in order to, you know, have some break rank issues if I can in the future. And queen a7, he takes the spawn and defending this spawn as well. To b2, assess, assess small traps. A really small trap right here. But he fought for that. GG. I mean, like, I like the American center. I really love Daniel's voice. And you know, that is why i still trying to learn from him. Okay, so when you, I mean, this, queen c3. 
seems to be a nice move. Queen c3, wow. Simply now you try and refuse the tactic. What a tactic. Seems nice. But no, it's not working. Something like queen c6 is over. And now you know, one, two, three, it's hanging. I mean, like, don't try and play so tactical like this. Since you still get a lot of, you know, hanging pieces, and this is so dangerous. You understand me? Okay, GG. GG. So we're gonna st meet each other again in two days when we're playing the Viva Arena. Viva Arena. And playing some other stuff as well. I'm afraid I don't even have time for the GeoGuessr actually. Probably even one even one session of GeoGuessr. Don't get a lot of time left. You know, this is a little late in the country right now. It's sad. Um, thank you guys for a lot of support.